Hello there and welcome back. So in this tutorial we're going to create this scene in Maya with the help of Bifrost and my custom compounds that just got new features added. Ok, we will have a path in the scene, so the first step is to create a curve like this. From there you can use Sweep Mesh to create the geometry. In this case I am using the line option and also setting the interpolation to start to end so we can control the polygon distribution. I ended up scaling down the path and then extrude the edges around and add a few subdivisions. I've created two color sets to control the scattering of the different assets. This is pretty easy to do, just flood the mesh with white, then setting the operation to replace and the paint to face. Then you can paint out the path with the black. The last step is to set the operation to smooth and paint out the vertices around. Now drag the ground geo to the graph and let's get the vertex colors with the get geo property. Make sure you set the value to mat float for. Let's just check that we're getting the correct colors with the diagnostic material. Make sure you have a vector for to float in between. Now I want to displace a bit the points with a fractal. For that we need the point position of the ground. And we can now multiply the noise with the vertex colors and feed that to the displaced points. As you can see we have created some small hills around the road. Let's start to scatter a few rocks on the ground. You want to set the vertex map on the scatter compound. I have a button as a shortcut to cycle through maps. It's not yet available in this update because I still have to finish it. It's a bit hard to handle the events of the graph and it causes some bugs. And now just set the amount of objects you want, adjust the scale and play with the seed to get a nice result from the shot camera. You can also remove some instances that might not work for the shot, just check the number in the viewport and add it to the scatter compound. I just do the same for the small rocks. Now we'll have a look at a new feature, which is the clamping, especially useful for grass. So we enable clamping, increasing the scattering amount to make it more noticeable. And as you can see we have the grass distributed by clumps. You can now play with the settings, like random clump sizes. There's also an option to set the distribution to be more uniform or more natural. In the next update I will also add a falloff option. This is possible thanks to Seppo from the Bifrost Discord that showed me how to do it. And of course you can also change the amount of clumps and there's also a seed attribute. Scattering now some shrubs, setting the scale, amount and the vertex mask. If your viewport is getting slow, you can add a call points to the proxy of the terminal. In the final port you have the full amount. Now I am referencing a tree and use it to scatter a few instances uh, in the scene. You can also connect a proxy to the preview geo port of the custom scatter to make it lighter in the viewport. 
With this new tree we have two objects, so if we scatter them like this we will have the leaves and the trunk separated as you can see. The solution is pretty simple, just use the merge geometry in between. Let's just scatter a new tree. And for the last two trees I will add a cube as remove geo to get rid of the target areas. And here's the result we get from our work so far. This one is the clay render from my original scene and I also have already a texture scene that if you guys want I can cover in the next video. The updated compound link is in the description, make sure you check it out. Ok, let me know if you guys enjoyed this and see you in the next one.